G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So today we're going to make some filtration. Um, the OGs on the channel, you've seen this before, but if you're new, newer to the channel, this is uh, the way I do some filtration stuff. And if you've seen this before, maybe I'll have a new spin on it and you might learn something new. <sighs> Bit of a tough break guys, I got my power bill. Um, so I've talked to you guys about the IBCs and the 8 foot just behind me here. If you're new to the channel, there's two 1000 litre pods there, which is like 300 gallons maybe. Um, and there's an 8 foot up there, which is 1500 litres. So in that corner, there is one, two, three, three and a half thousand litres. However many gallons that is. Usually somebody drops a comment playing at home. Uh, and the, the average temperature has been like, I want to say 10 degrees Celsius, keeping in mind colder at night, warmer in the day. And I got my power bill. And basically that setup there has added $200 a month to my power bill. Can it be made back? Yes. They're, if I grow them fish out and sell them, there's literally like $20,000 worth of fish there. But the, yeah, that's not how it always happens. Um, so one more, just quickly finish this subject off and then we'll get on with it. Um, so my whole plan with running that was I knew it was going to dramatically increase my power bill. And my plan was the flower horns selling them would cover the cost of running that. The problem is I had that wipeout of flower horns. I've had two in a row and uh, I've lost like 20 flower horns, uh, all with a value of uh, 200, say minimum, 400 maximum. Um, and they weren't just flower horns out of an IBC. The ones I lost were the selects, the ones that I was actually going to sell. So, um, <clears throat> It hit home hard and it's hit right in the middle of winter when that's when I need the money to pay the bills. But I've got I've got a couple of flower horns to sell. Oh, I'm fogging up everywhere, you're fogging up. I don't So my power bill is in credit from because I have put fish sales on it. But basically I need to advertise a couple of flower horns and try to come up with $800 by the 2nd of September just for me to reach a personal goal of me not paying the bill if that makes sense it's not that I can't afford the bill um, we're, doing we're doing fine with money but I've really got it in my head that I want the room to be self-sufficient and I'm sure everybody watching this can completely understand that and then also telling you guys the costing of this and that I think some of you might might it might help a couple of you understand why I ask so much for the fish because <laughs> that damn electrical company taking it off but anyway what's the time it's three minutes 40 that's way too long for an intro um, we're building filters for up there prepared to make these airlifts. I think I am anyway. So we've got sponge, we've got pipe, we've got elbows, we've got airline fittings. Um, let's just open all these to try get a level playing field. I don't really know why I said level playing field. I'm not versing anyone. So my plan here is to make all four of these on camera without without breaks so you guys see exactly how long it takes me. So this clip you are watching right now 
is not going to get edited. One straight clip. All right. Three. You guys count. All right. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four. Three. Next drill bit. All right. So that's our air hole. Now this is our return hole for the hose. Don't drill towards your hands, kids. So this is where the light, the hose is gonna go back up here. I like putting the hose back up the air lift. It just makes, makes it way neater. And then drill a hole in the top of this elbow. Boom, boom, boom. I'm actually having fun. Racing myself. Well, can you even call it racing if there's no one against me? All right, now I'm gonna put these in. So I want to take my time on these. They snap off real easy. They're um little, can you guys really see it? A four mil threaded barb. So one, one side's threaded, one side's a barb. Um, most of my fish room, Oh, and they snap off real easy when you've got them in the drill. Uh, most of my fish room is just general gardening, plumbing. There's not much fish specific stuff in here. Now, these are quite loud as well when they're running. Very simple to make them quiet. Just put an air stone on there instead of, instead of using the team. Barb. Oh, I'm getting a sore back from leaning over. I'll stand up a bit straighter, hopefully. Sorry, my face isn't in the camera, guys. You just get a shot of my, my stomach. All right, one hose through. I've even cut the hoses to length. So that's how prepared I was. Anybody who knows me, that's rare for me to be that prepared. Um, all right, so 3.5 millimeter drill bit for the barb, and then um, six millimeter drill bit for the airline to go through. Um, so airline goes up through here. Uh, one more, where's the line? Oh, right, there it is. That's not it. Where is it? Oh no. Uh oh, I lost one. No! One, two, three. That's not it. Quick, cut one. Oh, I'm actually getting really heat exhausted now. Live action, guys. We're not live, but we're, we're still going. All right, so all four hoses fed through. Yeah. you got to be careful not to kick that there and leave the good bit of hose. Um, as the hose gets older, it goes brittle. And when it's brittle, it's actually better because it, then it doesn't... Um, doesn't doesn't crease stays there better so when you like if you yank on an airline you can actually yank it and crease it and it will actually block it so it's one downfall of doing it this way if you leave them loose in the tank there's less chance of that happening but they look so much neater this way oh. Feed all the lids on. 
Oh, I just pulled that one tight. It's really hard not to pull them tight. It's an automatic reaction. But once they're in place and you're not moving it around, it, it you don't really bark them often. Oh, I've got to get the last one through. Bit of a stomp on the ground to get it pumping. Uh, now four tapped. Um, you got to tap these. They just, because there's no air stone on it, they just pump out way too much air if I don't turn them down a bit. Can't remember what side of the glass I need to put these on. Uh, four tiny little bits of hose. One, two, three, four, and then a T. So it's two and two. One. And done. And that's how long it takes to make four airlifts. <sighs> now I just gotta trim a little hole in these sponges. I can't find my scissors, so I'm just doing it by hand. I'll get back to you once they're installed. I think I'm just gonna install them off camera, guys, and then get back to you because this video is gonna drag on real late if I do too much. All right guys, so I've got it set up. So basically those two bits of black sponge that were on the bench, we put them on the bottom and then the two pipes sit on top of it. And I've actually got the, the pliers and I ripped out some holes in that sponge. So the pipe actually sits all the way, almost all the way through the first bit of sponge. So, so we get some action in the bottom bit there. And then it just goes through these two 25 mil holes here. Um, and then it returns back through that hole there. Actually, I've got the um, I've got this on the wrong side, so I'm going to flip it onto the other side after I finish recording. But we've got the hose in here. Now this is how I killed the flower horns, guys, filling up these top tanks. So what I've actually got is the hose is not plugged into the tap. I I, I have no desire to ever use that tap again. The hose is running out to the water change system and then if you listen carefully you can hear the pump. Now the pump's quite loud so there's no way that I'll walk out of the fish room and go into the house and not remember that that pump's on. So yeah I'm just I just thought I'd tell you that's my plan. I know I said I was thinking about getting a timer for that you guys suggested getting a timer for that. Um, I think my best bet here is I'm going to delete that tap. I want to get rid of it completely. Um, just so there's not the temptation. I have no desire for it. The only thing is like... Um, like high pressuring the floor. But I'm pretty sure I can run my high pressure cleaner off the water change system. So who cares? Alright, and number two is running. So um, they're not cranked up all the way and you can see how much water they're moving. These things work a treat. The one over there, if you can just see it, that one's flowing a bit more than this one because obviously the water level's higher. Um, while we're up here, but what am I going to do about this tank? <laughs> um, I really should put a test kit on it and I don't know whether it's a bacteria bloom or whether it's just because there's no mechanical filtration in there. Remember that thing's only full of clay beads 
and I squeezed like four sponge filters in there to get some bacteria going. Um, I might pull that for that flower horn out. It looks nice. Um, I only really plan on having female flower horns in here. So yeah, as the boys start to pop, I'll uh, pull them out. All right, so I think I established what I wanted to achieve. I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to make some DIY filters. Now, don't get me misconcepted for what is cheap. Um, that setup there cost me a total of 40 bucks. So um, it's not really expensive, but it's not cheap, cheap. Uh, basically, well, the killer is these ta these taps. It's um, They're like $2 each. Um, in saying that, if I bought 10 sponge filters, I would still need the taps. So realistically, it is still a lot cheaper than buying like um, uh, ready-made sponge filters. And I'm getting 10 times the amount of flow for the same amount of air. So it has its advantages. It has its disadvantages. Look, it's not pretty. Um, it doesn't look like roses, that's for sure. But... Um, it works. It's working great. Um, my fry tanks, they're all clean as, clean as the whistle. Look at the bottom there. Look at all of these. Um, never tell me you can't run a tank on air. Uh, uh, F the haters. I know there's a lot of people that think that you need pumps for a fish tank. My, <laughs> my stingray tank doesn't even use a pump. Um, so if you want to run something on air, run it on air. Whether it's three litres or 300 litres, that pond is four and a half thousand litres and it runs on air. My koi pond is 15,000 litres and that runs on air. Oh, anyway guys, just a bit of a positive end there. Uh, well, is that positive? Me telling me my way is better than the other way? Ah, anyway. <laughs> I really just want to get the awareness that it doesn't have to be crazy expensive. Unless you're running IBCs out in 10 degrees Celsius at 29 degrees, then it becomes expensive. <laughs> it's kind of funny, those three tanks use more electricity than this whole room. But I'm going to advertise some flower horns in the next day or two, so it'll pay for itself. But anyway, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. Same color as this shirt. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Oh, and shout out. Kareen Pet Central. Jump on their website. It's in the description. <laughs>